what's good everyone? Welcome to Ice Strength Diaries, local ice man here. And today we're discussing the propane fuel system on the Zamboni. All right, just like we were talking about in the intro there, um, we're gonna do a basic overview of the propane system on a 546. And let's start here with the propane tank. Um, I think the first thing notable to mention is that these are liquid draw. So where it comes in, um, where, where your propane comes out, this valve actually goes all the way to the bottom of the tank or near the bottom of the tank and it draws liquid out. Whereas your barbecue tank, um, the valve has a special valve on it where it's located on the top and it's pulling um, vapor out. So uh, the Zamboni, um, this valve here, the Zamboni, it pulls the liquid out. So there's actually liquid propane running through these lines. So you get here to your, um, your left and right switch for two tanks. Um, basically it was right underneath and underneath here there's a low pressure switch and a, and a valve so when you have uh, your propane runs down the low pressure switch kicks on it turns on your little light there that little gas light and that you're out of propane and there's also uh, an audible alarm so basically an orange light and, a, and a, an alarm goes on and you, you flip it back over to the tankers uh, the other tank um, we always open both tanks when we're out in Zam on the ice so that's one thing to note um, the propane dips down into the back of the machine, propane line. Then we pick it up over here. Comes from under the machine and goes through a filter. Then it basically hoses around and loops around to this uh, lockout right here. So on this machine, this is electronic lockout. And what a lockout does is it prevents propane from flowing when the engine's not running. Since propane is stored on a compressed gas, um, and like, and like I said, as a liquid, um, which is it's kind of significant, that's why I wanted to mention that. Um, uh, if there's any way for the, I guess like a gasoline engine, you know, when you stop your engine, the fuel pump stops. So there's really no fuel pump. It's just, it's under pressure. So um, if, you, if you didn't have a lockout, propane and just shoot through your injectors, I guess, and, or through your carburetor if on the older system. And I'll show you the, the lockout on a, an older Zamboni and how that works. Essentially, it's the same thing. This one's electronic, though. So from your from your lockout, you basically, it goes around uh, into your converter. So the propane flows from your lockout through these tubes into the converter. Then from there, it actually gets convert, converted from, a, say, a high pressure, it's somewhat uh, high pressure liquid into a, a warm vapor. And it kind of then it exits out this tube right here into the fuel injector rail. But essentially, the job of the, the converter is to convert the liquid propane into something that's more combustible, like a vapor. So, and how it does that is it runs uh, coolant so to say, uh, radiator fluid, uh, and it's, it's coolant, I don't use the term cool, but that's still, it's pretty warm, as you know, the engine runs, so the water going through here, that runs this, runs through this converter and it heats it up, and it heats this propane up from a, a compressed uh, liquid, and that's cold, you know, as I've, as you put a propane uh, valve on, sometimes it squirts propane out at you, and it comes out pretty cold, um, that's why you have to wear the special gloves, um, so it's it's a it's a liquid that needs to be converted to a gas. So that's basically what the converter does. So then after it converts it, again it goes around to the fuel injector rail and does its thing. So that's basically um, the basics of how a, a Zamboni propane system works. All right, how about we go look at the Zamboni 500 and uh, regulator on it? First of all, the propane comes comes through the hose there from the bottom. There's a, there's a filter down there uh, before the bend, um, and it comes into the lockout, and it's not an electronic lockout, it's a, it's a vacuum controlled lockout. So you see a vacuum hose right there that leads to the, the carburetor, and as soon as you start cranking the motor, then, uh, let me get this light here, as soon as you start cranking the motor, then it, a vacuum forms and it pulls open the flap and allows propane to flow into the converter. Once you get to the converter, it's just real similar to the other machine. You have coolant that runs in this way, and it comes out this way via a hose, um, and it heats up the propane from a liquid, that, that cold liquid, to a warm vapor. So, again, here propane's coming in here, comes through the lockout that's controlled via vacuum. Um, as soon as the engine turns on, it, it 
it creates a vacuum and opens up a flap that allows propane to go into the converter. It gets converted into a, a vapor and it comes out right here and goes to a carburetor. So in this, this machine here, this doesn't have fuel injector. Um, this has a carburetor. So that's your, your carburetor there and your filth, uh, air filter just go on top there and screw on right there. So I guess the other thing to note that there is a fuel management system. You can see right there that there's a, um, a vacuum hose on the back of the, the converter and that leads to a solenoid right there and that solenoid also leads back to the carburetor and that solenoid controls fuel through the system. Um, we also control fuel through the system via um, a setting down here on the carburetor. I should show you, I guess, on this one a little bit better. Uh, right here, it's how we control how much fuel goes into the system. Then this right here controls how much air is, enters the system, basically. So, uh, a little more to it. They also say that this is the idle screw and this is the load screw or the load, load adjustment. So, but this is basically the propane carburetor. Whereas the, the other machine over there that has uh, fuel injectors and stuff. Let's go ahead and do a let's go ahead and do a basic overview. Let's go ahead and go over to this machine because uh, it's a lot nicer looking, and I think more people now can relate to the fact that things are electronic and they may not sure what vacuum stuff is. So um, essentially, once you turn the engine on electronically, it's going to open up a valve that lets propane flow into the converter that converts the liquid propane into a gas. And that gas just comes out via an elbow into the fuel injector rail. And this one has basically four fuel injectors instead of just one carburetor. Um, that's just basically the basics to it. And I uh, hope you found it interesting. Uh, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Or here, let me switch the camera around. All right, there you go. Or there you have it. So that's how a propane fuel system works on a Zamboni 500 and the 546 right there. Now, not all Zambonis run on propane. They also run on natural gas, electric, um, battery. Yeah, I guess the old style ones did actually plug in. But there's also a um, battery powered, gasoline powered, and like I said, um, diesel, propane, and natural gas. So uh, if you like that video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more content, uh, hit the notification and the little bell right there. So as the localized man says, Stay cool.